It was in your blood. It still is in a lot of people's blood. Everybody just was there in blue and gold. It just wasn't given. It was what we created as a hockey family. You did, you made lifelong friends. People who were at my wedding. Um, my wedding was based around hockey, forever synonymous with the blue and yellow. From walking into the ice rink, I was just kind of hooked on it immediately. Um, I don't know what it was, it was just, it felt special from, from the get-go. There was no plexiglass, so when somebody went skating past, you would feel that whoosh, and yeah, the whole crowd moved like that. Yeah, you would see that whoosh as they would go past, but you'd also hear the bones crunching when they got checked into the barriers, and the barriers would creak. Oh, it was great. Uh, you went down and you like met new people and all the rest of it. It was a place to meet people and to have a bit of fun. And... When you walked past, you were asking what we're doing, and I said, have you ever heard of the Durham Wasps? And you said you hadn't heard of them. No, I've never heard of it. Are they in a hockey team? I just hockey team. I remember I have looked up like Durham Ice Rink online, but it's one of those things that like there's not really many photos or anything of. Have you heard any of the history of the Ice Rink or the Wasps? Nope. No. <laughs> yeah. If there's an ice rink, we'd probably come down more. My name's Lewis, and I work normally under the name Durham Spray Paints, Peyton Murals. My connection to the ice rink is that my family used to go, and I grew up hearing stories about Durham Wasps and how successful they were and how amazing the community was. I've always felt that Durham was lacking that kind of special community space when I was growing up, and I want to learn more throughout this project for myself, but also to have that record so other people can find out about the history and, and learn about the place that they live. So we're going to be doing an exhibition at Durham Sixth Form Centre we're going to be filming for a documentary on the history of the ice rink and then we're going to be putting it all together and compiling it to inform a mural in the city centre. Do you know, even now, sometimes I have dreams and they're still set in the old rink and it's the old crowd there. It just gets into your blood and, you know, it's been 30 odd years now and I still have dreams about the place, it's weird. One of the worst things that happened to Durham, the ice rink gone, because it did draw people in. We've got nothing like that now, and kids don't realise how, how much they're missing out on something like that. You know, for 30, 40 years, that touched thousands of people's lives, you know. It was the centre of it all was at, at that level, yeah. Musty, damp, cold, <laughs> but it was, yeah, you just... You went every week, you just wrapped up a bit warmer, you had your scarf on, your gloves, your hat if need be. Essentially it was it was a, a corrugated iron shed with a frozen floor, but somehow it was it was so much more to so many people. Blue and blue and gold, still there, still there.